Okay, let's try this. We have an AC source with V go to 300 sine 5 pi T is connected across a resistor of 250 ohm. Calculate the peak voltage. So before you answer all this question, make sure you compare this equation with general equation. V is equal to V0 sine omega T whereas V0 is 300 and omega is 5 pi. So the peak voltage is 300 volt. How about frequency? You can determine frequency by relate with omega. Omega is equal to 2 pi f. Omega here is 5 pi. So divided by 2 pi, we get 2.5 hertz for frequency. And then period. Period is uh, period formula is t is equal to 1 over frequency. Then equal to 0 0.4 second. How about the RMS voltage? RMS voltage formula is equal to V0 over C2. So, V0 is 300 divided by C2 and we get equal to 212.13 volt. Ke, okay, the RMS current. I RMS is equal to V RMS over R. Okay, based on Ohm's law. Okay, kalau the I RMS, dia mesti partner dengan V RMS. Even you tak tulis RMS pun tak apa sebab yang tak tulis tu kita assume dia secara dominan iaitu RMS value. Okay, VRMS is equal to 212.13 divided by 250. So, you get 0 0.849 ampere. And then, the peak current is I0 is equal to V0 over R. Okay, kalau V0, dia mesti I0. Kalau VRMS, dia mesti IRMS. So, the peak current is 1.2 ampere. Next, let's say they give you the sinusoidal graph represent by I versus T, T in millisecond. And then the figure show uh, the AC passes through a resistor of 20 kilo ohm. Calculate the RMS current. So RMS current you can get uh, compare with the uh, I0. Okay, I RMS is equal to I0 over C2. Whereas I0 is the peak, uh, peak, for, peak point for this graph is 0 0.02 divided by set 2 is equal to 0 0.014 ampere. Next, the frequency of the AC. Frequency of the AC is equal to 1 over period. So, 1 complete cycle is equivalent to period. So, period is 40 millisecond. 1 over 40 times 10 to the power of negative 3 is equal to 25 hertz. Next is the peak voltage. So, peak voltage is V0 equal to I0 times width R. So, I0 is 0 0.02 times width resistor is 20 kilo ohm. 20 times 10 to the power of 3, we get 400 volt.